The CBC, or complete blood cell count, is a way for measuring the health of your white blood cells that fight infection, red blood cells that are responsible for carrying oxygen to your, to your body, and the platelets that help to clot and pre prevent bleeding with injuries. When blood tests are done, the majority of the blood is made up of water, but the predominant cells are the red blood cells White blood cells are much, much less common. If we look in your bloodstream, you have the, the red blood cells there doing most of the work of uh, carrying oxygen, but you also have the white blood cells and platelets. When a smear is done with the, red, with the CBC, they're able to evaluate the different types of white blood cells. Most of the white blood cells are neutrophils and lymphocytes that help to fight both viral and bacterial infections. The monocytes, eosinophils and basophils, are mainly related to allergic reactions. When you get your CBC results back, you'll notice that there's the uh, absolute white blood cell count that kind of tells you and your doctor how many of the white cells there are, are there enough to fight infection, and then the types of cells are also put, put in the listing here. And then there's the red blood cells. Are there enough red blood cells? And then the hemoglobin and hematocrit. That's really more about the percentage of the red blood cells in the blood. Is there enough there? And then looking at the size and shape of your red blood cells. The MCV is the mean corpuscular volume. Do, are your red blood cells large enough or are they small? Sometimes deficiencies in certain nutrients. If you're low in iron, your red blood cells are going to be very small. If you're, if you're low in B12 and folic acid, you're going to have very fat, large red blood cells. The distribution width, the RDW, tells us do you have a bunch of small and fat red blood cells because it could be that you have two different types of, of deficiencies going on at the same time. And then one of the tests, the other test is the platelet count that tells us do you have enough of the platelets to help clot the blood and are they large enough and are they active enough. So when you get your, your blood work, you're going to have this list of all the different tests that are done. You'll have your values listed here and then any abnormals listed in the middle. There'll be whether in a designation of H and L, whether or not they're higher or lower than the normal range and the, no and the reference range will be on the side. So when you get your CBC results back from your doctor, it's important to talk with them about the different highs and lows that might exist. But this should allow you to at least kind of know the basics of your blood evaluation. That's a minute for health.